Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 50 in chapter 8. Chapter 8 is about the conservation of energy. As you can see, uh, this, this is the Earth, and uh, there are two planets, A and B. They have the same mass, and they just do the circular motion around the Earth with different location, YA and YB. The first one, we need to find the potential energy for these two planets, two satellites, right? Anyway, so for the gravitational potential energy, this one is the equation we get in the textbook, negative g m. This m is for the Earth, and the mass of the m, m a, and divided by r a, right? And then you can see r is given. Just a y, sorry, there, I should write it r a r b, r b, and then you input the known quantities, you get the final answer. Similarly, for the gravitational potential energy for b, you input the known quantities, get the answer. The second one, you you can find is the kinetic energy for planet for satellite a and b. How can you do that? This one is we can consider the. A and B do the circular motion. So that means the gravitational force do the central force is a central force. So you can say central force equal to mass times the central acceleration. This equation, do you agree? From this equation, very easily you can just simplify to this one. Agree? And this one we can say the left hand side is a kinetic energy. This side is just the lower quantities. Capital M is the Earth. Small m is A or B. R is a location for A and B. Agree? So in this one, you can find the key A. The kinetic energy for A is one half m a v a squared. This one, you input this uh, function inside. You can see for this function, all the quantities are lower. You can do the calculation easily. Similarly, for the satellite B. The kinetic energy for the satellite B, Kb, equal to 1 half mb vb squared. And then in this one, you can see, you input the all known quantities, you get the final answer. The next one asks you how much energy is required to change the A to B. So how much energy is needed? That means the energy must be conserved for the satellite at the position A and the position B, right? So we can see uh, the energy at the B is the U, potential energy plus kinetic energy. And also the energy at A is the potential energy A plus energy B. And then how much energy would it require to change of A to B? So that means this is a change of the energy. Do you agree? Yes. And from the previous one, UA, UB is get, KA, KB is get. So very easily you can get the change of the energy, delta E. Thank you.